Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Well, there's been a, um, a distinct lack of half-decent commentators. We've searched the whole of England. <laughs> I've had to come to America to find one. Um, <laughs> How does the how does the demands of commenting commenting on um, essentially American networks? How does how, how does that change it? Do you have to alter your approach because of the different of the audience? No, not at all. And, and their mantra is to me is to call it how you call it at home. Um, a lot of people get hung up on this. Do you call it soccer or do you call it football? It really doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, soccer essentially is a is a British name isn't yeah. it it's a British word I yeah. grew up watching star soccer in the East Midlands you know on a Sunday afternoon that was yeah. the highlight show on ITV so it's not an alien word yeah. and I think we're hopefully kind of getting beyond that now um, there's a huge as you can see here there's a huge audience for it in the United States and yeah. it's growing every year and teams like Liverpool are getting such a massive fan base here particularly after the season they had last year which was absolutely phenomenal then the World Cup has taken it to another level yeah Would, uh, how many games uh, Liverpool games did you comment on last, last year probably oh probably about 10 in yeah. the end 10 or 12 and particularly on the well on the running I think one of the I will I will never ever forget the Man City game as long as I live it, the, the whole I, the, we've got a way of doing things which is you lay out and let things breathe a little bit so we join the action or the players in the tunnel yeah. and you can hear the clink of the studs on the floor and I didn't say a word from welcome there's the players in the tunnel they're about to come out I didn't say another word until the end of the minute silence just ahead of the 25 year anniversary of the Hillsborough tragedy um, which was about I don't know four minutes it had you never walk alone it had you know the, the players shaking hands and people just loved it and I just sat back and took it all in. It was astonishing. And then the game was, was tremendous as well, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, it was great to follow that story. Yeah, I mean, at Liverpool, we're involved in some of the some of the, the most interesting and obviously most exciting mm. clashes of last season as well. Obviously, Arsenal as well as that. Like, um, I mean, for you, when you obviously Liverpool came so close to win the title, yep. were they the most entertaining team you got to watch last season? Or am I, am I putting you on the spot? Uh, well, I've got to be careful. Um, I did see Man City tear some teams apart last year. Saw them beat Spurs six, put six on Arsenal. Chelsea put six on Arsenal. Arsenal were on the end of a few hidings, <laughs> weren't they, last year? But I'm sure that'll be better this year. Um, look, they played some great football. There's absolutely no doubt about it. I was there for the Merseyside derby uh, as well when they put four on Everton. Um, it, it was, for, for someone of my age, and I just turned 40, um, I remember the dominant years. So the lull... There's a, there's a generation who probably don't remember that, and yeah. this was interesting to see Liverpool come back. And I think, as a, as a football fan from England, I grew up with Liverpool being strong, and English football is better off. And I know United fans and Everton fans are going to hate me saying this, <laughs> but English football is is better for a strong Liverpool. Yeah, and it's obviously going to be better having Leicester back in the uh, the Premier League. Couldn't as well. possibly comment. Couldn't possibly comment. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, you, I'll let you know a, a secret a secret thing about Leicester. We always we've got a thing called uh, Ian marshalling someone. So basically, if you ever say some such and such is up front and, yeah. you, and you say you should never say haha they've only got such and such up front because he will come back and he and, he will, you and, and his back perm will come back to haunt you absolutely yeah absolutely yeah. anyway thanks thanks very much for Not your time man. enjoy Cheers. your time here. yeah and obviously we've seen that uh, you've been playing a little bit of fifa with jose enrique mm. has he as he as he, he, he got the better of you or are, are you better than him no he's just trying he's just asking me too many times just to give him some so lessons, you know, so every time I'm free in the afternoon, I just give him some lessons to, to teach him how to play FIFA. <laughs>